Hey, what is going on guys? It's me again, Dan. Um, and I'm back at my school, on my campus. I'm about to go to the gym. Uh, but I do have another toy review for you guys today. Uh, I've been waiting to open this package up for a while. I really haven't had time to open it. Um, maybe within the last few weeks. And um, been really, really um, trying to restrain myself as far as opening it because I wanted to share that moment with you all. Um, so I thought since I'm going to the gym and my car is really uh, probably probably the best place for me to record because I have this whole setup in my car um, that makes it easier for, for me to record anyway. But uh, what I do have today is something really cool and it could be a multi-purpose toy um, especially for toy photography and stuff like that um, if you're a fan of 80s wrestling or even earlier like the 70s wrestling um, you know the name of Bruiser Brody uh, will um, resonate with you and so along that line, um, this guy, this wrestler, um, really paid homage to Bruiser Brody and all the contributions he made um, to professional wrestling. And that guy that I am talking about is the Berserker. Um, and this is, this is a really awesome toy trying to get him fully within the shot but he looks amazing amazing um and he would come to the ring and his his ad lib would be hus 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 um similar to like Akira Tozawa when when he's like ha 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 um you know just just something memorable to uh Something memorable for the crowd. I know Bruiser Brody used to make that um, make that noise when, when he was wrestling. But I'm going to open this guy up. Um, he's really awesome. Super cool. And I, if you collect some like Thor figures or like Marvel uh, Masters of the Universe, and you have them within the six inch scale, this is really cool because the the attire he's wearing could really mesh well with that so I'm gonna open this guy up and I'm going to see um, and see what he can do so let's do it so I almost forgot to describe the box um, and I already opened this guy up but let me do my best so you get the red background inside this window pane box. Um, then on the back, you have this nice picture um, with a nice illustration of the crowd in the background. And it's a really animated look at him. Um, but that was the gimmick that he played. He was just a really animated character. And it says on here that his ring attire is from 1991, so you know it's earlier on. Um, but yeah, I mean, he was six foot eight. I mean, this guy was huge. And this was around the 80s, early 90s, where you know Vince was really looking for those body guys. Um, if you watch What Culture, <laughs> there's a thing where uh, they make fun of what Vince's ideal thoughts of a wrestler are and uh, Vince loves big sweaty men <laughs> so if, if he's a big sweaty man he's going to uh, he's gonna get some camera time on, uh, on wrestling but uh, yeah he, this guy definitely fits the criteria of a big sweaty man but, uh, let's open this guy up Right. This is awesome. He, he comes with a sword and a shield. 
goodness. I mean, you could even use this for like a Viking setup, like a historical setup. He looks awesome. And of course he has the standard WW Elite um, articulation, which is he has a swivel on the uh, the legs. You know that's different from the uh, the basic. Then he he does have the ab crunch, but it's hindered by um, his his garb. Um, I do like that this isn't molded on; that you could just take it off, which is cool. I don't know why. At some point I thought that was molded on, but that's good. Um, the shield is easy to take off. Right there, there's some tabs. And then there's a sword right here. Um, and it's pretty cool. There's, um, it's, it's a really cool figure. Uh, and then in the package, he, it comes with a WD Elite like background. And I guess that's a standard thing for all the Elite figures now, is that they come with these backgrounds. I try to put them together, but when you try to put them together, there's like small gaps in between. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, find a trifold board and paste them on and so they'll just be like one complete piece um definitely when the rob schamberger Sh schamberger um build a background comes out i'm definitely going to frame that piece because I, i'm a big fan of schamberger but this is a really awesome figure and just getting back to this i mean look how they molded the hair and then the face detailing, it's really great. It's really great. It's a, it's a great detailing for this figure. Now, I do have to say that a lot of the articulation, although it is provided, um, is hindered by uh, the, I'd say the accoutrements that he's wearing. And, um, I would say that, you know, like, you know, for any other figure, I would say, you know, that, that sucks. But that's part of the charm for this particular figure is that, you know, you either have the full range of articulation or you do not have these design elements. And so it, it comes down to a matter of choices, right? So like either you want the full articulation or you don't have this. And so... I mean, it's possible to take this off, but I don't want to because then I would have to hassle with putting it back on, and I don't want to deal with that. But it's a really cool figure in that it's multi-purpose. I mean, I could use this for my Marvel Legends figures. I could use this for, like, a historical setup. I mean, it's pretty, pretty spot on, I would say. I mean, it's... He looks like a historical figure. I mean, besides the knee pads and the tape, I mean, if he decided to use this for a, a, a different purpose other than wrestling um, for your photography, I'd say that it's a good possibility that you can. Um, I'm really actually happy that I opened this finally. It's been, I've had this figure for maybe a couple months never found the time to open it um especially because i wanted to share it with you guys and uh, share this unboxing and this review um really great looking figure I, I can't get over how awesome this is um and that's what i love about the marvel no not the marvel the mattel uh ww elite line is that they come with so much detail, a lot of articulation, and the head scans have been getting much better. I mean, before, um, weren't that great, but they're getting much better. 
and I think this is a nice example of that is that the although it is a very animated head scan I think it works for him because that was the type of gimmick that he, he um, portrayed so in all I give this a 9 out of 10 um, I think you know it's not perfect but it is close it, you know if it was an exam get 90% it's an A um, you know the uh, the articulation is hindered by certain design elements um, not a bad thing you know considering you know what do, what do I weigh out as more important but uh, yeah great figure um, if you're a fan of Vikings if you're a fan of 80s wrestling if you're a fan of wrestling if you're a fan of Bruiser Brody um, and it could be any one of those things or all of the above I suggest you go find this figure because it is a really cool figure um, and it will open up a lot of photography possibilities if you are a toy photographer like myself so 9 out of 10 uh, definitely check him out the Berserker and that's it that is my review for you guys all right so thank you for watching uh please like and add a comment if you have anything in addition to add that i did not include in this video and as always guys thanks for watching um until next time bye bye now